Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup that I never use and I never reach for and I believe that Shani Grimmond was the first person to do this video. I did also recently see Emma from Emma's Rectangle do this. Um, yeah, I just thought it would be kind of fun because I have a bunch of makeup in my drawers that I just never touch and it just sits there being all sad, being lonely, unloved and I thought today I would put it on my face. If you guys are watching this video right now and you never normally give videos a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it if you guys would give me a thumbs up on this video. And also if you're new here and you wanna subscribe, then make sure you hit that little button down there. Just so everyone is aware, I would normally have cushions behind me, but my cat is asleep on one of the cushions behind me and I don't have the heart to move him to prop the cushions up. So I'm just gonna let him sleep and we're just gonna have a bit more of a plain background today. So let's just get started. I have all of my bits and bobs in this little, um, I don't even know, what is this? One of them drawer organizers from Ikea, but they're really handy for like storing makeup that I'm gonna use in videos. So for primer, the primer that I have had it just sits in my drawer, like I feel really bad. My parents bought this for me when they went on holiday. I think they went, I don't even know where they went. They went away somewhere for the weekend and there was a Sephora there um, and they got this smoothing primer from Sephora. It's the Sephora own brand, but it's probably out of date because I've had it for quite a few years. Um, but it's literally just a clear gel and it's one of those silicone primers. I prefer to use a moisturizer that's got glycerin in it. However, this is making my face feel very soft and I think that has definitely just mattified it a little bit. I've never found a primer that noticeably, noticeably makes my makeup last longer. Like, is that just me? Okay, then for foundation, I bought this when it first came out. I don't even know when it came out, but this is again, probably out of date. This is the L'Oreal Nude Magique Cushion Dewy Glow Foundation and I have the shade, hello? It literally has no shade name on it. Whichever one it was, I will have just bought the lightest shade. Um, and I got this when it first came out because it was when like cushion foundations were like popular. And I saw some people use it on social media and I was like, oh, I want to try that. I used it for about two weeks. I think I did actually quite like it, but then I just stopped using it because it just kind of dried up and it seemed like it had run out. And I found this in my drawer today and I thought I'm going to try and get some use out of it. So I think what I'm going to do is like, Flip the sponge over. Is this a bad idea? Ew, ew, oh, oh. Okay, there's still plenty of product in there. Let me just put that little bit on my face. And also it comes with this really like unhygienic little puff thing. Um, but I'm gonna use it because I'm already breaking out. Why not break out some more? That is not good advice. Okay, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna use my beauty blender. <laughs> Like now I'm really having to like dig my beauty blender in there like this and like get underneath the sponge kind of. It's got pretty light coverage as you can see but like it just looks so natural on your skin and it just evens everything out really nicely. I think this foundation came out in the summertime and it was when I didn't really like want as much coverage. No matter what I use, this spot is not going to cover. <laughs> Why is it that whenever I have an event or like a busy week, I get a spot that just pops up on my head and it's like, hey Seth, how you doing? I'm here to join you. Okay, so moving on to concealer. I have two concealers by Essence. Um, these are the Camouflage Full Coverage Concealers. I have the shade 05 Ivory and 10 Nude. I got these uh, quite a few months ago in my quest to find some really good drugstore concealers. These ones didn't quite make the cut. Um, they're okay, but like I just never use these anymore. They're just not my favorite concealers. Like, I feel like you need to apply quite a lot of them. Like you need to keep dipping back in to get like a decent amount. Can't really remember what the coverage is like. Let's give this a go. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. I just remember being so excited by these because they said they were full coverage. And then I took them home and I tried it and I was like, eh, it's not really full coverage. Like it's kind of like a medium coverage. Okay, moment of truth, does it cover the spots? No. To be honest, even my shape tape hasn't been able to cover this, so. So for my face powder, um, one of the face powders, I used to like this, but I never use it anymore, is the NYX Translucent HD High Definition fin Finishing Powder, because this stuff gives you flashback, which I don't really want. I mean, in my day-to-day -day life, it's fine, but if I'm going anywhere where I'm gonna have my photo taken, 
you don't want a foundation, uh, you don't want a powder that's going to give you flashback because your face will look white in photos. I mean, mine looks pretty white in photos anyway, but <laughs> I don't want it any worse. If you take your photos and you realise that you have flashback, I have a really handy little editing hack on my second channel, which I kind of figured out recently. So if you want to see how to remove flashback from your photos, head over to Sophie Does Vlogs because I did a little like cheeky hack. It is a nice powder, like it sets your makeup really nicely. Okay, so for my brows, I have the Collection Eyebrow Kit in Brunette. I used this in a testing collection makeup video. Oh, hello, the cat has awoken. He's awake. I used this in a testing collection makeup video, but I haven't really used it since, so I'm gonna give it a go. I've lost all the tools that come in it, but I probably wouldn't have used them anyway. So I'm just gonna go in with this one. It is quite a cool tone shade, but to me, it kind of looks purple. I don't know if that's just me being crazy. I am not the biggest fan of this brow powder. I don't know. I don't feel like my brows are looking the best today. I don't know, it's just a bit of a funny colour. I never use this, like it's just been sitting in my drawer. This is the NYX um, Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. This used to be really popular um, and I did used to use it quite a lot, this shade here. But yeah, I just haven't used it in ages so I'm going to take this colour to contour my cheekbones. That is actually quite nice but again, to me like it kind of looks purple. I don't know if that's just me being crazy. It's tricky because both sides of my face are like uneven. So I've got more of a like square and long jaw on this side and my cheekbone is more like, I don't know, angular. Whereas on this side, my, my face shape is a lot more round. Like, can you see that? This side is more like this and this side is more round. And so, I don't know, I just find it hard to contour my face evenly. Then for actual bronzer, I have this palette by Model Zone, which is called Sculpt and Glow, Um, again. This is in light to medium, and again, like, I have used this once, I think, in a testing model zone video, and yeah, I thought I would use this shade as bronzer because it looks very warm, um, but I just can't remember how it performs, so... Let's see how it goes. Okay, you definitely need to be careful with this because it's really pigmented and very warm, and it's kind of got stuck in my hair, so that's good. Then for blush, something that I've had that is so popular and I just never ever reach for because I never really wear blush. Um, this is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso and I'm gonna see how this goes because I know that so many people love it but again like I just, I just never ever reach for it and it just sits in my drawer getting unloved. So I'm just adding a really small amount just on the apples of my cheeks. You know what, I do actually quite like it. I don't know, I just get so scared of wearing blush because it's really easy to go overboard. I think it does make my face look a little bit more like fresh and healthy. Then for my highlighter, I'm going back into this palette, which um, is the Model Zone one. There was a blush in here, which is very similar to Luminoso, but I kind of just wanted to use the actual Luminoso. So I'm gonna use the highlight in here, which is called Light Up. Oh my God. Model Zone highlighters are so good like honestly as a brand i think model zone is so underrated like they do some great products look at that highlighter a palette that again i bought when this first came out i spent a ton of money on this this is the jeffree star cosmetics androgyny palette and honest to god i did a video review on this and i have never touched it since i don't know there's just other palettes that i reach for over this one so i'm gonna give this another go i'm gonna start with a shade called safe word and then i'm also gonna use charm and these are just gonna be my transition shades safe word almost looks gray in the pan but on my eyelid it's kind of like i don't know it comes out more warm i do really like these eyeshadows but i just have palettes that i prefer like the color combinations of because this one is a little bit more daring, but it's still super pigmented and like it blends really nicely and everything. Let's do something khaki. I'm gonna take the shade Military, the green one, and I'm just gonna put this on the outer and inner corners of my eyes. This is actually a really nice color. I don't think I used this one before. I am still experiencing problems with this eye, like, I seem to have some like ongoing allergic reaction and it's always itchy and the skin on it is just like completely dry like it's so different from my other eyelid and I don't understand why or how or what went wrong like it's just a mess so I'm gonna blend that shade out 
And then going in with a little bit of the shade called Poison, this like teal colour. And I'm just going to add a tiny bit of this to the outer corner. This bit here just will not blend, like that is stuck. I should not have used this teal shade, like every teal shade that I've ever tried just does not blend nicely, but oh well. And then taking the concealer from earlier, and I'm putting some of this on the back of my hand, and I'm gonna try and do like a halo eye kind of cut crease thing. So now that I've got that concealer down, I'm just gonna take the shade Frosting, which is this gold, like yellow gold color, and I'm just gonna put that all over that area. Oh my God, that is pigmented. <laughs> Not gonna lie you guys, I'd forgotten how pigmented these shimmer shades are, like, oh wow. Okay, I'm then going back in with the green shades that I used before, just to like blend over those edges and make it look less, like, blocky. I am not mad at this palette. Okay, I'm just gonna run the shade Safe Word, no, Charm, along my lower lash line. And then I'm taking the green again, and I'm just gonna run some of this along my lower lash line as well. And then on my inner corners, I'm going back to my highlighter palette and I'm just gonna highlight my inner corners using the highlight because there isn't really a highlight shade in Jeffree's palette that I can use. Then for my eyes, I never ever reach for pencil eyeliner. So I think today what I'm gonna do is take these Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencils. I think I'm gonna use the turquoise one in my waterline and then I'm gonna use the black one on my upper lash line. Ow. For my mascara, I don't even know if I've used this on camera before. This is the Miss Sporty Studio Lash Designer Mascara in black designer. And it's just got a plastic bristle brush. I don't even know if I've used this before, so I'm gonna give it a go. You know what? That is really not bad. This mascara is so cheap and it's actually pretty good. Then I'm just gonna put on a lipstick before I do lashes. One of the lipsticks that I bought ages ago and it was such a thing back in the day, like, I don't know, maybe like a year ago, maybe two years ago. Mac Stone was so popular. And I bought it and I wore it a couple of times, but I never ever reached for this. So I'm gonna put it on today. It's gonna clash with my makeup, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I would definitely advise using a lip liner with this because I've just made a mess. <laughs> so finally, for my lashes, I have the Backstage Lashes in Melrose Avenue. These are really popular, but I wore them once and I think, I don't know, I'm just a bit scared of them because they're so big, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give them a go. I'm gonna try and stick them on and then I will be right back. Seriously though, how do people wear lashes with thick bands with no eyeliner? Because they just won't stick down. Like, I can't get them close enough to my inner corners and the inner corners of them just won't stick. But I know people that wear these lashes, like these ones in particular, they wear them like every day. So, um, don't judge me. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It was definitely fun to like crack out some old makeup that I haven't used in ages. Um, oh my god, I've got lipstick all over my retainer. So, yeah. That is it from me. Uh, also remember, if you haven't already seen Shani Grimman's video and Emma's video, um, I will link them down below if I remember. And yeah, I think that is pretty much all I have to say. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, an amazing Wednesday. Is it Wednesday today? Yeah. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.